Early June, the American Geophysical Union released a study on clear air turbulence, invisible variations in the sky that led to bumpy flights. According to the study, severe turbulence over North America has grown 55% since 1979. In addition to that, they say even moderate turbulence has also gone up 37%. The researchers say climate change is to blame and that warmer air from carbon emissions is increasing wind shear in the jet stream, meaning the air is moving more. Michigan Representative Haley Stevens introduced a bill to Congress to study the turbulence and ways to keep airline passengers safe. She is here tonight joining us live in studio. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So let's get into it. Tell us about this bill. So we are in the Congress reauthorizing the Federal Aviation Administration Act. So we're doing the big bill to make sure that the FAA has the funding it needs to succeed. And as part of that process, I'm on the Science Committee. And a lot of people think, well, you know, FAA goes through transportation infrastructure, but the Science Committee oversees the research and development effort. And so my legislation that already passed committee is one, requiring the FAA to study this, give them the support to study it, and then also give them the measures to track turbulence more. I got to ask an FAA administration official in committee about this, and they said, it's kind of difficult to track. We know that they do, and we know the pilots talk to each other and the airlines are on top of it, but extreme turbulence is on the rise. And we want consumers, particularly after the shutdown period of this pandemic, to be able to fly safely, to fly with insurance, and not to see those scary videos where all of a sudden you're dropping and the weight feels heavier than gravity, because it is. Right, that, it's terrifying. We've all experienced probably some form of mild turbulence, but some of those videos, people are just being tossed around like rag dolls. So how could they actually fix that? What is the potential solution that they might find here? Well, it, one thing that I've learned is that it could be flying at different altitudes, okay. finding new levels to fly on, um, finding better ways to detect, because right now the clear air turbulence comes out of nowhere and it wreaks havoc. And all of a sudden you're there, you're enjoying your flight, and then the next minute, you're kind of praying for your life. The injuries are on the uptick. For the flight attendants, this is the number one cause of injury on the job. So proud to have their support in this with this legislation, as well as several other worker unions that know that this is a priority for work, workforce safety as well. We've seen an uptick, obviously, in these statistics, but when you look at the whole picture, is among the issues to combat this also maybe going greener and dealing with that whole industry as far as cleaner air? Well, that's something that we are also tackling in the Congress. And I know that the airline industry is embracing as well. It's not just that sustainability is the trend, it's the need. And we see this here in our hometown of, of Metro Detroit, uh, the electric vehicle revolution taking place, the sustainability goals. And the airline industry is also looking at alternative fuels, alternative energy sources, so that that might contribute as well to lessening the effects of climate change. But it's real, it's here, and we want to get in front of it. People deserve answers. So what would something like this cost? And is this a bipartisan issue? It seems like it might be. Well, it passed bipartisan in committee. And I'll tell you, it was a really great day. I got to introduce the amendment. The Republican chair from Oklahoma, who's actually been a great partner on some of the sustainability efforts in the Congress. They'll never tell you when we're working together well, but we are. He helped me introduce it in committee. It passed. And then we're going to go forward with the full FAA reauth. The thought is, is do we stay at last year's funding or the year before? You might see a slight uptick, but really we can use the technologies available to us and not incur a large cost, but get those assurances in place and get better tools for the pilots and for the industry as a whole to be able to detect this severe turbulence before it hits. Yeah, let's hope obviously there is change and things are headed in the right direction. You know, and there's not a serious incident yeah. that we have to deal with. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Representative Haley Stevens, thank you for joining us tonight. Anytime.